Bootleg Reinforcement Part 2 The Solution Please watch Bootleg Reinforcement Part 1 first for the definition and an example of bootleg reinforcement. Quick Review Clara chooses to rush to Eileen to sniff novel odors instead of getting directly on her mat for a food treat. Let's describe the problem behavior and assess how the environment influences it. The behavior is Clara sniffs Eileen extensively. The distant antecedents are Eileen has just come home from work and let Clara out of her crate. The immediate antecedent is Eileen stands by the door. The consequence of the sniffing behavior is access to odor. That's the bootleg reinforcer. The prediction of future behavior if nothing changes? Claire's sniffing Eileen when she stands by the door will increase or maintain. How can this problem behavior be dealt with? The original intervention, asking the dogs to lie on their mats as Eileen approached the door, was differential reinforcement of an incompatible behavior. Dogs can't simultaneously lie on their mats and crowd around the door. A common solution would be to raise the value of the reinforcement for the mat behavior and back up and practice the behavior in less challenging situations. But let's check the humane hierarchy. Is there something less intrusive than differential reinforcement of an incompatible behavior? Dr. Susan Friedman recommends that a primary consideration in behavioral intervention is finding a way to let the animal have what it wants. Is there a way Clara can give Eileen a good sniff without causing problems at the back door? How about antecedent arrangement? Can we change the picture for Clara? Can we provide her an opportunity to sniff Eileen that isn't disruptive? First try. Clara's overexcited jumping is one of the reasons for the mat behavior in the first place. Let's see if we can set a better stage for calmness. It turns out that Sweet Clara not only wanted to sniff, but to greet Eileen. Allowing a calm greeting and sniff removed the chaos at the back door. All right. This method has worked for Clara and Eileen ever since. The other little sniffer enjoys it too. When dealing with bootleg reinforcement, if the behavior is acceptable in itself, in other words, not something like knocking down grandma, we can try to give the animal what she wants. Sometimes we can change the situation so that performing the behavior doesn't cause a problem. Clara got supersized reinforcement. Odor, the opportunity to greet, pleasant physical contact, a food treat, and access to outdoors. Honoring her choices enriches her life. And in this case, it strengthened the bond with her human. Thanks for watching.